Well. No, you ruined it. I'm gonna try a voiceover for this video just to fill in the blanks between things that we did this week. So on Sunday, Tim was assigned to preach in North Kalaokan. Long katangi and our characteristics na makikita natin sa propetang Mesias. And then Rex kindly drove us all the way down to his place uh, for a games night in the evening. Third place with a total of 28 points is me! Yay! Yay. Coming in in second place with a total of 36 points is Rex. Yay! Which means a total of 40 goes to Tim. Nice! Yay. Yay. Well played, bro. You can do it, Tim. Okay, let's go. Um, for the wages of sin. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah. Whoa. Um, and Proverbs. The the songs were the the book of wisdom. What? No. The, <laughs> before Proverbs. It's a oh my gosh communion and then there's when a new believer comes to faith they're put into water. A baptism. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, gyra. Uh, what? Gyra. <laughs> Uh, the word that comes before gyra. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I don't Shalom. know. Shalom. Rafa. Jehovah. No. So, we are parked here at Jiram Baranyake because we are picking up um, about eight bullet buy boxes to bring to Davao tomorrow. Um, I'm just waiting for the boys are going to get them boxes from upstairs but I think this is going to be our last distribution um, it's not the final distribution that's going to take place but it's the last that we will accompany yeah that's perfect yep go ahead so we have the first batch of boxes <laughs> that's in the blooper <laughs> and we have to the car's not big enough so we're gonna go back again. Second batch. Second batch. So that night we just uh, unloaded the boxes and then the next morning, which was actually Thursday, the day of our flight, my mom and I had to unpackage the boxes and repackage them because one of the boxes was just too large to bring as check-in on our flight. Uh, and Tim was working on some seminary stuff while we were doing that. <laughs> we're just about done our mission in a shoebox project. Heather and I are just feeling really grateful um, for having gotten an opportunity to visit all these tribal communities, participate in their culture, and most importantly, share the gospel with them. It's just been a wild but very fun ride. And this Sunday, I'm off. I'm not preaching, although I did have to prepare preaching for today. <laughs> and that's just a blessing because I haven't been that great at balancing school and um, seminary, sorry, seminary. <laughs> I haven't really got at balancing everything, but uh, the Lord has been gracious and things are getting done, including this project. So yeah, peace. It took us a while, but somehow we managed to fit eight Balikbayan boxes inside our car, which is crazy. These are the last of the boxes that we will have to be transporting ourselves. This was not the original plan, which is why this is quite chaotic. I have such a bad migraine today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the drive here to the airport, but today is not my day. I'm good. <laughs> I'm here to give the positive vibes. <clears throat> The next day, we went out for a lunch date. Heather is very happy because we have her bread. And she's a bread girl. I must say, <clears throat> this looks white. Oh, look at that smear. That is, <laughs> that is excellence. Nice spaghetti. Our schedule has been quite busy lately, but we try to still go out on dates and spend time with each other. I got a cafe latte iced. 
get an Americano. Because Surprising? No, we always get yeah. Americano is a way to go because you know I like Americanos. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. <laughs> Actually, I'm British. And on Saturday, we met up with Sim and her family to travel to the Iranian community, which isn't so far, just inside Davao City. The program took place inside the Iranian community's preschool, which is actually run and managed by our friend Sim and her family. So it was really great to do our program in here, and especially in a place that's just really been uh, benefiting the community. Please keep Sim and her family in prayer as they minister here, teaching values, education, and showing the love of Jesus. <laughs> to the airport for our flight back to Manila. So back in Manila, Tim and I usually go out to work on the various administrative things that comes with a mission project. Um, so like I was editing the photos, Tim might deal with the liquidation reports, uh, and I think he was also working on his Sunday sermon here as well. Then we went out to see our friends Jovial and Seb, who are getting married this November. Uh, we were really excited to see them, and we went out for lunch. <laughs> What's it called? Living in love. Living in love. <laughs> yeah, living in love. No, live in love with Joe. Living in love with Joe. Like yeah. I'm in love. Like, it's so hard. It's so hard. It's really refreshing for us to fellowship with friends, especially friends that we don't get to see so often. So thank you guys so much for your time, and we will see you in Canada.